Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky Beginner Guide. This is gameplay straight from me playing the game. I'm not going to give you a bullet points. I'm going to give you. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, so if this is your first Bob video, you probably need to go back to episode one because I am in it. We're at episode five. Let me kind of show you where we're at and uh, talk about what we're going to do today. Okay. So last time we got the ship, it's okay. I don't love it. I want to get a better ship. So uh, in this, what's up, dude? Uh, so in this episode, what we're gonna do is uh, work on getting some nanites and work on upgrading. Uh, I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping as well. Uh, there's a few things I forgot uh, that you guys reminded me about in the last episodes uh, that we'll get to. So let's take a look again where we're at. I think what is it? Is it tab? Yeah, it's tab. All right. So 25 million units. We've only got 600 nanites. We got to fix that this gun sucks i need to fix that um the ships it's okay um you know it's got more than uh, the radiant pillar so that's good but uh we definitely need to to get this better situated so we need a new multi-tool we need a new ship we need a bunch of nanites we need more money uh and we probably need to go uh advance the quest a little bit just you know i mean we don't have to but Guys, let me tell you this. Uh, if it's your first time playing, follow this, okay? Bob's showing you what he knows from playing this through, I, I don't know, eight or 12 times. Uh, the first couple times I did it, I went straight through this quest line, okay? Uh, it really is good. You learn a lot about the game, and you get a lot of free stuff. But I'm going to kind of go on a little bit of a different path because I know what I'm doing, and I want to try some stuff out. So, ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. It's orange. That's my jam. I love this ship. Um, I would like to have this, please. Bro, where'd you get your ship? He's busy. Oh, well. What are you going to do? I wish you could jack somebody's ship. That would be awesome. Unless somebody jacked mine, that would not be awesome. All right, so first things first, let's, uh, let's warp back to Bob's Knob and... I need to clean up some of the uh, some of the stuff I forgot about. I forgot to tell you guys how to get rid of the scrap ships without fixing anything. I got it in episode three and totally blanked on it last time, so I apologize. Let's go do that right now, and we'll check our base computer, see if we get some more free goodies before we get into the upgrades. All right, I'm going to Bob's Knob. Warp. Thank you. All right, so we are back home, and uh, I need to go to Log and click on base computer there we go now if i wait a second it'll update there you go archives are available remember every hour and a half of real time you're going to get something free out of your base computer if you haven't already got it so let's see what we get this time i may have already bought it because i get impatient so let's search the database save point sweet all right uh, pay no attention to Bob's Knob. It uh, This was our starter base. We'll build a cool base in the next episode or two. Uh, this one, uh, you know, this is not our forever home. Uh, Bob's Knob will always have a special place in my heart, but, you know, we ain't going to be here forever. All right, so let me show you guys what to do with the crash ships. Now, remember before in episode three, we claimed a scrap ship. It was Artemis's ship, and I told you to just leave it there and jump back into your ship, and I'll show you what to do, and I forgot. I apologize. So here's what you do. So you go to summon vehicles. You're going to summon in that ship. I've got my pillar, and I got this one, and it'll go right there. All right, so we've got uh, Artemis's ship. It is still on fire. So here's what we're going to do. We never fix anything. I think the launch thrusters actually automatically fix when you call it in. Yeah, launch thrusters are fixed, uh, but there's no pulse engine or anything like that. And uh, I ain't flying nowhere without a pulse engine. Ain't nobody got time for that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to warp over to the um, space station. And I'm not going to put all my carbon in there like a dummy. There you go. Three will do it. I can grab it. Even though it's off, I'm still in it, so it's all good. And we're going to go there. All right, we are back to our first space station where it all began. Well, I guess not exactly where it began, but, you know, our first space station anyway. And we've got our crappy ship. Now, notice it's no longer on fire. And our pulse engine is fixed. Pretty cool. So I haven't done anything, but it's kind of auto-fixed itself. But I still don't want it. It's crap. And I ain't got time to fix it. Now, um, if I fixed that and upgraded it, it would be worth more. But I've done the math and it ain't worth it. It is not worth it. The component cost to, f to fix this stuff 
is not worth it. So let's check my exosuit. Yeah, I got a bunch of crap. Let me let me clean up here a little bit. So we're going to come over here and we are going to scrap it. Now when you scrap it, make sure you understand you don't get 1.3 million units. You get scrap worth 1.3 million units. And it's not going to be exactly worth that because of the economy, the plus and minus demand. So you may get a little bit more than that. You may get a little bit less than that. Typically what you're going to get is about 70% of the value of the, of the uh, ship. All right, let's try this. Claim scrap. Thank you. All right, there we go. We got it. Nailed it. All right, so I think this is my first time scrapping a ship. Uh, so this is what we got. Remember, uh, I had this was here, but these slots were open. So we got chlorine. Sweet. Um, so we can throw that in our ship with the rest of our chlorine. Oh, crap. It brought me the wrong ship. That sucks. Um, okay, so we've got uh, reinforced piping worth 50 unit, 50,000 units. This is worth 200,000, 800,000. So that's one. That's a million, million fifty. You, can, you see where we're going here? Yeah, math, right? And then we got these upgrade modules. Now, uh, if it's early game and you need this, go ahead and stick it in your, uh, in your ship. I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm going to get rid of them, and I'm going to sell them to this dude right here. What's up, bud? Dude, this thing looks like a little golf flag to me. Whenever I see it, I think of, like, a flag in a um, at a golf course. All right, so you hit purchase, but we're actually going to go to sell, and we're going to get rid of this, get a few more nanites. Um, now, one of the things uh, somebody mentioned, I, I forget to do this. Uh, a great way to get nanites early on is to go to your discoveries tab and upload everything. Look at that, we just got 306 nanites for updating all our discoveries. So scanning stuff on planets, finding new, finding new planets, all that stuff is going to give you nanites when you upload it. Uh, so you don't have any control over what ship it brings you, which kind of sucks. I didn't want my pillar back. All right, so let's go and sell this stuff. We don't want that. And is that it? I think so. I think so. Um, so, I uh, hope Artemis doesn't want to ship back because I sold it. And if you don't know the answer to that, uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Yeah, I got to get another jetpack upgrade because that... Nah! Oh, damn it. <laughs> that sucks. All right, come on. We can do it. We can do it. And go. There we go. All right, back to Bob's Knob. You gotta go back to planet to grab the ship you want because you can't call in your ship to the space station, which kind of sucks. All right, so now that we're back on planet, we can get the ship we want, which is Big Daddy over here. There we go. Now we'll throw our chlorine in the right ship. Bam. Uh... All right, guys, let me do some quick cleanup, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I hate to interrupt this program, but these two Vikings have just told me some very interesting news. Um, it seems that there are 89% of the people who watch my videos have a unhappy subscribe button. That's right, 89%. If you see a subscribe button that's red, that means it's not happy. It doesn't like it doesn't like to be like that. It wants to be gray. Go ahead and tap it, and it'll turn gray. For zero dollars and zero cents a day, you too can have a happy subscribe button. And if you want to really make it happy, go ahead and hit that notification bell too. The little slash will go away. It'll get all excited, and we can all just have a great time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Only you can prevent a sad subscribe button. All right, guys. So um, my quick cleanup turned into a couple hours of me um, running around the galaxy, making a bunch of units. Found a new multi-tool. I uh, made some more chlorine cobalt. I've got 206 million units, but I have no nanites. I had 200. There's a couple different ways to do it. I'm going to try something else this time. Uh, so what we're doing is we're going to go to uh, the anomaly, we're going to go to the nexus, and we're going to look for something that says tame wild creatures. 
Uh, if you don't see this in here, just wait a few minutes and they'll refresh. I had to wait one, one cycle. So I'm going to collect that. I'm going to initialize the mission. And then I'm going to go ahead and start it. Now, the reason we were looking for this um, mission specifically is because it's going to give us a nutrient processor. And we'll make a little bit of money uh, in the meantime. Now, um, I could have bought a nutrient processor if I went and dug up enough salvaged materials, salvaged uh, technology modules or whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta go dig up that crap to buy stuff. But if you do this mission, they're gonna give you a nutrient processor. They're not gonna give you the blueprint, but they're gonna allow you to make it in the mission even if you don't have it. So, uh, and then you can just keep it. And what I'm gonna do is make two or three of them and, uh, and keep them. Create bait in the nutrient processor. All right, sweet. So, see, look, I can make a nutrient processor now. Let's go here, here, and here. Like, here's the nutrient processor. Uh, you put stuff in here, you make food. We'll go through that in a minute. Uh, it's also got storage in it. So here's an extra storage in here. So I can throw carbon, chromatic metal, any of the food types I can throw in here uh, that you pick up on planet or that you grow yourself. And I can pick it up and throw it into my inventory. One, two, three. And then I can do the mission if I feel like it, but I don't feel like it. I don't know why it's shaking. Um, so I'm going to go to the Nexus and I'm going to leave the mission. So I didn't finish it, but I still have my nutrient processor. So thank you boys. All right. Now in order to do this next piece, we're going to need a little bit of supplies. Uh, we're going to need some meaty chunks. So you want to find a planet with a lot of fauna or animals on it. Uh, I was looking at bases, uh, base locations in this system and I found a really cool planet that I wanted to build a base on and then everything there tried to eat me. So, uh, we're going to go over there. I ended up on this moon instead, but we're going to end up, we're going to go over there and, uh, yeah, collect some, uh, meaty bits. Now I thought this planet was super cool. It's a paradise planet. It's got star bulbs. I don't see any sentinel activity listed. I was like, heck yeah. So I came down here and I saw awesome terrain with little pockets of water that kind of look like lakes or even rivers and it had some canyons and I was like this is it this is it and then we got a heated rainstorm and I was like yeah well you know it'll be fine it'll be fine um, and then every freaking thing tried to eat me which I uh, was not okay with that honestly if I'm, gonna, if I'm being honest there uh, so we need to craft some stuff, and let's craft um, I don't know, a bunch of this. There we go. I think my new multi-tool has, yeah, 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 yeah. Scatter blaster. Let's go ahead and reload that with R. And. Let's just run around minding our own business like I was before. Hey. Don't don't run away from me. Hold on. There you go. There we go. Strider sausage, meaty chunks. That's what we're looking for. There you go. Uh-oh, something's coming right for me. Oh, you little crab. There we go. Give me that. Leg meat. Num, num, num. Ooh, that guy's mad. All right, so we got Bob's Barbecue over here. Freshest meat in town. 
Alright, so we've got Strider Sausage. Get that going. Over here we've got processed meat, which is what we get from the leg meat. Over here we've got our organs. Oh, we've got some more volunteers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on, buddy. Somebody wanted to jump on the grill. Ouch. Love that sausage. Oh look, these guys are coming right for us. Where'd your buddy go? I saw two of you. You know what, I may build a base here after all. I'll just call it the hunting lodge. Ooh, what's a pulse splitter? I've never used that. That's pretty cool. It's like a freaking machine gun. All right, so we got a couple different types of weapons. We got the uh, mining beam, works as a weapon. Um, you can use it to take down animals. Takes a while and they run. Uh, you've got the bolt caster, which works better. Um, one of my personal favorites is the scanner blaster which is basically a shotgun. Boom. Then you've got the uh, pulse splitter, which, oops, where'd it go? Right here? It's basically a machine gun. Ba 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 ba. Pretty cool, huh? Tore that plant up. All right, now, um, with this uh, processed meat, we're gonna turn that into mystery meat stew as well, like so. All right, I think we're done cooking. I might throw a base down here just to make it a little uh, Bob's barbecue. All right, so now that we are full of all kinds of good food, or food, I don't know if it's good, we're gonna run out here and we're gonna call in uh, the Death Star. So we're gonna go into the anomaly and we're gonna go visit Kronos, or as I affectionately call him, Watermelon Head. All right, so here's Kronos. You come up the right-hand side. It's uh, this homeboy over here. He's grilling. He's got a hibachi grill growing on here. And he's going to give you a sniff. And, uh, well, do not simply stand there. Do I look as if I have time to waste? Show me what you have. So then you can present what you have. So let's see. I've got the stewed organs, the mystery meat, and the mystery meat stew. I'm going to go with what I have the least of first because I'm going to get rid of it. And every time I give it to him, he's going to tell me what he thinks. And it's going to be um, different for the same item. So it's not like one item guarantees something. But I just got 40 nanites for that right there. I'm going to give him some more processed meat. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do this over and over until I got, have gotten rid of everything. Now, I didn't check. Let me check to see how many nanites I had when I started. I wasn't thinking. I got 2400 nanites. Let's see how this works. All right, that's it. We got rid of all of the stewed whatnots. Uh, let's get a final tally. What did we start with? Like 2400? And we ended with 19.5. So, what's that? 17,000? Took me about an hour. Um, I'll be real honest with you. Uh, it's boring as shit clicking this dude for like 30 minutes shoving food in his face um, there's much better ways to do it if you haven't checked out my nanite video I've got two of them one that goes over six different methods including that one and uh, one that just kind of goes over my favorite method so check them both out uh, I'll link them in the description and probably throw a card in there as well but we got a bunch of nanites so we don't have to worry about it anymore 
Got a bunch of oxygen. We got $200 million. Feeling pretty good. Let's see. Let's get some upgrades. We got more power, stronger, faster, sharper. All of that whatnot. Okay, so... Uh, we've got that. We got that. Survey device. Yep, we need that. Um, optical drill. Sure. Plasma launcher. This is dangerous, but it's so much fun. Alright, so let's check the ship upgrade, see what else we need to get for the ship. Alright, so we've got the positron ejector. Let's go ahead and get that. So we can upgrade that. So the way it works on the upgrades is you can put in three upgrades that you buy, and you can put in as many as you can craft yourself. So we need the emerald drive and indium drive we got all the drives now we got an economy instability drive yeah let's get that why not go check out the construction terminal on that i think we're gonna get prepped to do some base building so i'm gonna learn some of these uh electric components the power inverter all right I got a lot of stuff I've done learned. Alright, so for some reason it's grabbed one of my other base computers and decided that that's my home base. Let's see, I can't change it. But, um, I can do this, since I transported from the anomaly, I can just go straight back by hitting that button. Now, if you leave planet in your ship, then, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. Alright, what do you got for me? Mining beam module one. Okay, so that's crap. It probably was something that I've already learned. That's when you're going to get a C class, maybe a B class upgrade module. Anything good here? Oh! Tiger squid! Oh! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my god, it's gray. Come here. Yes, give me this right now. Oh, I've never seen one this color. Is that gray? Oh, come to Papa. Um, we're gonna buy only seven million. Oh my gosh, you look freaking amazing. Is this a new pattern? Like I've had a red one and an orange one, but I don't remember the line pattern on it. It looks like it's got eyes right here. Guys, I need a moment. I need a moment alone. I love you. You're my favorite. And I don't care who knows it. Guys, this is my favorite ship. The the squid, people, some people hate them. Bob loves it. Look at this. Man, it maneuvers awesome. Look at that. Like a boss. All right. So, yeah, I told you we were upgrading some stuff. What do you say? IA8 Obra, Obera, Obera, I don't know. All right, here's the deal. Um, your new name is, here we go. That looks better. White Shadow. So unfortunately, most of the movies Bob's watched over the last few years have been children's movies. So White Shadow is a character in the movie Turbo. He is the uh, big fat snail who thinks he's invisible, but he's totally not. And uh, yeah, so that's what that's what we got here. Even though he's way cooler than that, I may change the name. I don't know. I'm kind of fickle like that. Let's go. Get you a little bit of materials. Look at this. Just busted it all up. Alright, we're just getting a little crazy here. 
Let's let's take a look at your ship. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get this. All right. So when you trade a ship, which I haven't done, I've just been buying ships. You make sure you throw everything in here before you do it, and you can break down the. Uh, stuff in the technology slots 47 37 i'm getting 10 more sh slots damage potentials twice as good shield strength a little bit better hyperdrive's a little bit better 81 mil all right i like it i like it all right now Let's go make that money back, right? All right, so we want to go here. Starship, sell, 106 million. Yes, please. Um, I'll keep those because I might need them. And then we'll buy that back. And, bam. We are four million less than we got here. And we got a 10 slot bigger ho Whoa! <laughs> Bob about became a fly on the front of that one. Uh, good thing those don't have a collision. I like this. I've never actually had a fan one like this with the uh, with the wings. And I've, I've been digging on them. And I also haven't had the one with the front that's kind of, you know, cockeyed right there. Alright, what do you got? I got a bunch of nanites burning a hole in my, my exosuit. Let's see, we've got S-Class only. I don't care about anything else. Radiation, thermal, underwater. And I don't care about any of that stuff right now. Uh, what, your exocraft? Nope. I'll take that. I've been burning that up. What you got, bro? Alright. Scatter blaster. Yes, please. Alright, guys. Give me a few seconds. I'm going to upgrade as much as I can building this stuff. And uh, we'll bring you back. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot I had two storage augmentation. Yes, let's go fix that. Alright, so the storage augmentation. So when you upgrade your ship, um, you can upgrade it a couple ways. You can upgrade the class by... Um, purchasing with nanites you can purchase storage augmentation which is one slot for 85 million units uh no thank you or you can apply storage augmentation and um i i have some so we're gonna apply it and we're gonna apply that one so i had two storage augmentation in my inventory i got those from scrapping ships um, while I was buying chlorine and oxygen and stuff in the space station, if I saw something that came in and met my guidelines, which is, uh, if you watch my nanite video, uh, it's my guideline is under two and a half million B class or higher, I'll buy it and scrap it. And uh, so that one's not going to fit because it's C class. So that's an A, but it's 4.6, so I'm not going to do that one either. All right, so now let's use the portal and let's go to the other space stations we've been to, see if there's any opportunity to make any more cash, and uh, check all of the upgrades that are available at the uh, the merchants. All right, guys, let's recap what we've done. So we started the episode off with, uh, what, around 100, 200 million, something like that? I can't remember. Um, we've got 285. We've bought a couple ships. I've got um, max shields now. I've got three shield S-Class shield modules here, and I got another three here. Uh, I've got three more um, uh, movement modules to upgrade my jetpack tanks, efficiency, just general movement, and I got one more here. I can use two more of those. Um, we've also got a new multi-tool. We got an A-Class, it's not an S, but it's an A-Class, and it's pretty cool looking too, actually. I've never had one like this. It's up to 1,500 damage potential. Scanner range has got a ways to go, but we've pimped this bad boy out with uh, mining beams, pulse splitters, plasma launcher, we still need another piece for that, scatter blasters, blaze javelins, uh, um, scanners, survey devices, terrain manipulator, this bad boy is ready for action. And we already tested them out a little bit. 
Uh, we cooked some meat. We got a butt ton of nanites. We made about 20,000 nanites. I've spent, I don't know, about 15 or so. And uh, down to about seven, a little over uh, 7,000. So we've upgraded a lot of stuff. Let's look at our ships, though. We started with the Radiant Pillar, right? And we got the yellow one uh, at the end of the last episode. And since then, we've upgraded that to uh, this hauler here. The, uh, what is it called? The second Mookie. We're going with Mookie. I know it's Mookie, but it's Mookie. You're Mookie. Uh, this is an A-class hauler with uh, 48 and 9. So it is freaking pimp. Uh, look at it. Look at it. Look at that. That's a good looking hauler right there. Uh, I love the wings. Never had one with a split front. I kind of like it. We got a butt ton of chlorine in here. We got the upgraded hyperdrive. It's a good looking thing. Uh, we've got this pimped out. We got the positron ejector. So this will be our, you know, our grocery getter full of stuff. Uh, we also picked up a couple exotics. This is the first one I found. I can't remember where I found it. I think I found it here, honestly. I know I found the other one here, but let's start with this one. Uh, it's a, uh, they call these the uh, guppy design, like this, uh, or a sailfish, but it doesn't have the real big point. It's got a small point, but it's got the big sail right there. These engines kind of turn when it takes off, and uh, thrusters kind of turn. It's pretty sweet. Um, this was an S-Class. All exotics are S-Class. It's 17 plus 5. Uh, only 7 million. Pretty sweet, but the core stats are much better on uh, exotics. Uh, hyperdrive range 163. That's pretty good. You can do better, but that's not bad at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's not bad looking. If that's what I had to go with, I'd go with it. But I really don't like the tall fin there. It gets in the way because I like to fly in third person. But guys, look at it over my shoulder. Look at that. I got a brand new tiger squid. If you followed in my series in the past, you know I love my squids. I really do. Um, I like to find them. I've never found one with this pattern on it before. Uh, it looks like a gray with, uh, I've never seen the lines. I've always seen solid colors. Maybe I just didn't notice them. I don't know. But it's got the tiger pattern. It's a squid. I named it White Shadow because why not? And uh, yeah, I love this bad boy. It's a 17 plus 5 as well, another 7 million. But, uh, but yeah, man, we are doing good. I'm feeling good about where we're at. So basically what we've done is we've spent the episode getting what we need and what we want. I also scrapped a few ships. I ended up with uh, four storage augmentation. I only scrapped about three or four. Uh, so I can upgrade. Um, hmm, I'm not sure who I'm going to upgrade next. Probably going to start upgrading the squid, to be honest with you because the hauler is cool for now but uh it's not going to last forever i'll tell you that something weird is going on with the values because i bought that for 100 million 109 million i think 102 102 i put a storage augmentation in it or two i put two storage augmentation in it now it's worth half as much i don't know what's going on with that you know what let's just uh let's reload and see All right, we're back. What we got? 112. All right, so the value's back. So if you get that weird thing, uh, reload, and your value should pop back up. So I might build on this moon. I don't know. So in the next couple of episodes, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a base. We're going to get a base building episode in, and we're going to do a freighter episode. Um, the rest of the stuff is probably... That's probably going to be it for the guide. Um, we've got making money we got we got you to the well let's start off so first off we got you to, to the uh, anomaly then we got you learning how to make some money now i'm showing you how to upgrade with uh, nanites and check the links in the description for a couple more nanite videos as well uh, so we've taught you how to upgrade uh, how to find some ships get some ships and then we'll teach you how to build a base and we'll teach you how to do the, the ins and outs of freighters and uh, maybe we'll do one on portals and glyphs i don't know tell me uh, if you want one specifically on some topics, uh, I need to be able to make an episode out of it. So if you have two or three topics you want me to hit, let me know. But uh, but guys, don't forget to travel and explore the universe. Don't just you know bust through this. Uh, wander around, get lost. 
Just run around the planet for a while. Chase some fireflies. Do whatever you want to do. Hang out at a station and check for ships. There's so much fun that can be had in this. Guys, if you like this episode, please smash that like button. Subscribe with notifications. That's how I know you like it. We will see you next time in No Man's Sky. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. Only you can prevent a sad subscribe button.